Hi, this is Bruce Collins with Cambium Networks. Today I'm covering a brief overview of narrowband communications using our CN Reach platform. So let's get started. When we talk about uh, narrowband communications, it's really about uh, automation projects in the electrical utility industry, the oil and gas industry, mining, uh, rail communications, um, even some uh, traffic automation, smart city applications. And one of the primary challenges that uh, we, we, we see our customers facing is how to migrate from legacy wireless SCADA systems over to something more modern. Um, even if they're looking to expand into some greenfield areas, there's often some legacy systems to bring forward. A lot of times a legacy system will be based on serial only communications. It won't have the ability to do uh, remote management and oftentimes these products are uh, no longer being supported by their original manufacturer. Now, a more modern wireless SCADA system is based on IP communications, which allows for remote management. Uh, it also supports uh, the ability to do uh, uh, upgrades in the, in the future, a more manageable system, and then also sometimes can use to integrate some additional I.O. So you can have some inbuilt I.O. Uh, capabilities. And ultimately what you're looking to do as you modernize that SCADA system is to go with fewer truck rolls, uh, faster response time, more centralized management so I can see exactly what's going on in the network and ultimately lower the total cost of operating that network. So Cambium solution is called CN Reach. It's a narrowband platform. Uh, it operates in multiple frequencies. In the unlicensed spectrum, we work in the 900 megahertz ISM band. Uh, and then also a number of license frequencies. So 900 megahertz, 700, 450, and 220 megahertz bands. In those license bands, oftentimes you're working with a 12.5 kilohertz or 25 kilohertz channel. So very narrow band applications and low capacity. So you're looking at perhaps a few dozen, 20, 30 kilobits per second up to perhaps a couple hundred kilobits per second. So it brings about special challenges as you try to bring uh, the modern capabilities into an environment that has very small pipes. The, the uh, scene reach platform has, as I mentioned, uh, the ability to integrate digital and analog IO. Uh, I'll talk a bit about how you can also use this platform to migrate towards more modern IoT infrastructure using MQTT and edge-based polling. But certainly uh, it's a solution that can provide you both IP and serial based communication in a single box with a single path of migration and an elegant approach. Uh, the platform itself is made in the US and is highly reliable. We do every product, every single unit goes through full temperature range cycle testing um, in the factory. So every unit that you receive has already been tested uh, across a wide temperature range. Uh, these consume a small amount of power, typically uh, less than you know, less than 10 watts or so. So you really are looking at uh, being able to provide solar power to uh, to drive these things. Uh, another area that is important across all of Cambium's products is how do we make the best use of that precious spectrum? So spectral efficiency is key. Uh, C and Reach is even more so perhaps because of the narrow band uh, uh, requirements. So we support things like adaptive modulation. We support uh, synchronization. Uh, so that you can actually put multiple access points on a tower adjacent to each other, synchronize their transmit and receive uh, duty cycles so that they are not self-interfering. Uh, product is secure, meeting all of the encryption standards as well as secure interfaces uh, for HTTPS and SNMPv3. And of course, from a management standpoint, we support CN Maestro. So it's fairly unique in the industry is the ability to monitor and manage a narrow band radio through a cloud-based or on-premise based uh, modern management system. That's what CN Maestro is all about. And then if you're looking at planning a larger network and you want to see what the propagation might look like, you can use our link planner tool, which is a no charge software application available from our website to create what if scenarios and actually generate a bill of materials. The way C and Reach is deployed is either point to point or point to multi point. In the picture here, you can see a, you can do a simple point A to point B uh, link using Yagi antennas, for example. You can also scale this up using point to multi point using either an Omni, a sector, or even a Yagi at the access point. 
and then fanning out to a number of endpoints. The nice thing about CNReach is that the access point and the endpoint hardware are exactly the same. So from a sparing strategy, you can use that same radio, whether I'm at the hub or at the spoke. You'll also see in the middle of that picture something called a back-to-back -back repeater. That's a dual radio, which means that it's a single module, but inside that module, we have two radios, one pointing in the left direction and one pointing in the right direction. That allows you to do back-to-back -back repeaters in license operations, so you can go into really hard to reach areas using a relay type topology. CN Maestro is our cloud or on-premise network management solution, provides a single pane of glass across multiple of Cambium's products. Within CN Reach, we can do inventory management, monitoring, alarm generation, and responding to those alarms. Uh, a lot of our customers have strict security requirements to update local passwords, say every 30 days. With CN Maestro, you can automate that and push it from a central location and update all of those passwords across all of radios in the field. And of course, it provides a set of consistent tools across all of Cambium's network, whether you're talking about CN Reach or perhaps a, a PTP 670 or PMP 450i. From a connectivity standpoint, CN Reach offers a lot of flexibility. If you look at the front of the unit in the lower left of this picture, you'll see there's two serial ports and two ethernet ports. Those serial ports can be configured a variety of different ways. Pretty much talk to anything that has a serial port on it, whether it looks like a terminal server or a terminal client, whether it's running RS-232, 422, 485, you've got a lot of flexibility there. With the two ethernet ports, you can connect to pretty much anything that's got an IP address and you wanna connect it into the, uh, to the uh, 10 100 base T interfaces there. In addition, you'll see that green connector on the left. That is for uh, analog and digital general purpose IO. So if I just wanna monitor a dry contact switch, I want to throw a signal on a switch, um, or if I wanna monitor a varying signal, like I wanna monitor the pressure or temperature, I can do an analog input. So that's an optional feature on some of the CNRH radios. That green connector is also where you interface the uh, GPS synchronization signal, which allows you to synchronize access points and build up that high density network. Outside of the radios, we offer two other modules. One is called an IO expander. So it looks very similar to a radio, but there's no radio in this module. What this is used for is to connect general purpose IO or serial ports to a broadband network. So I can attach this to the end of a network that might be a 450i, a, PT, a PMP 450i, a PTP 670. I can connect those and uh, provide that serial migration over to IP using this IO expander. And a subset of that is our managed terminal server. Again, managed with CN Maestro, this device allows you to add serial connectivity to any broadband connection. So again, I use one of those Ethernet ports to connect into my broadband point, whether it's a, a switch or directly to the radio. And then it provides me two serial ports where I can do things like uh, Modbus pulling at the edge. I can do MQTT publish subscribe integration. Um, or I can just simply add console access or serial port access to a broadband network. We have customers looking to or deploying, uh, they, they want to look into a, a CLI interface on a switch. They can add this terminal server and now over the broadband connection, I can achieve that, uh, that uh, serial connectivity into the CLI or out of band management port on a microwave link or a remote switch. So to summarize, CN Reach has several unique capabilities for industrial applications. First and foremost, we talk about is CN Maestro. Uh, this is a cloud-based uh, or on-premise based management system. Uh, we support multiple bands. So you have the same set of tools, the same radio uh, functionality across 220, 450, 700, or 900 megahertz, as well as 900 megahertz unlicensed. There's a number of features in the radio that streamline license band deployments. So with, this is an example, we can take serial data, uh, strip out the IP and Ethernet overhead for very high, efficient, high efficiency use of that spectrum to, uh, to deliver serial communications, all at the same time carrying management traffic on the same link in, in, in seamlessly. For dense deployments, we can do access point synchronization. So you use a general one pulse per second signal 
to make sure that all the access points transmit and are receiving at the same time so you reduce or eliminate self-interference. For those applications that need it, we support built-in general purpose I.O. So again, analog or digital inputs or outputs, you can go directly in here, sometimes eliminating an external RTU or PLC. For relay applications, you can use the same module uh, with uh, a dual radio. And now I can do relay nodes into areas that I couldn't quite reach with a single link. And then as we modernize these networks and as our customers look to modernize networks with things like MQTT, um, edge intelligence and moving polling out to the edge, things like our terminal server, IO expander and the IO capabilities in the radio can help support that modernization and IOT uh, gen uh, as we move to the next generation of IOT solutions. So I want to thank you for listening. If you want more information, I invite you to come to cambiumnetworks.com for more spec sheets and more detailed information about all the products we talked about today. Also invite you to join community.cambiumnetworks.com to continue the conversation. Again, thanks for listening.